There are moments in history when the universe seems to whisper a warning, and this might be one of them. The James Webb Space Telescope has just done something extraordinary. It captured the first real image of an object that could change everything we know about our place in the cosmos. Officially, it's catalogued as 3I Atlas, a supposed interstellar comet. But what if it isn't? What if it's not a comet at all, but a vessel? An alien craft camouflaged in ice and dust, silently crossing our solar system with unknown intentions. Decades ago, Stephen Hawking warned us, don't send signals into space because if someone hears us, they might come. We didn't listen. For over a century, Earth has been shouting its presence into the dark, and now something is here. What the James Webb saw is not just strange. It may be the clearest sign yet that we've been found. And whoever found us has been planning this moment for a very long time. When astronomers first spotted three atlas, it was dismissed as just another comet, a harmless traveler from the depths of interstellar space. But the James Webb Telescope's ultra-precise imaging revealed something no one expected. The object's structure and surrounding dust cloud didn't match known comet behavior. Its trajectory was razor-perfect, lying exactly in the orbital plane of the planets, something nature almost never does. Then came the real shock, its speed, 255,000 km per hour, faster than any known comet of its size could travel without some kind of propulsion. To put it into perspective, at that velocity, it could cross the entire United States in under two minutes. And yet, it wasn't just moving fast, it was moving smart. Its path took it on close flybys of Venus, Mars, and Jupiter using their gravity as slingshots, a maneuver that space agencies plan years in advance for deep space missions. The odds of this happening randomly? About 1 in 20,000. That's when Harvard astrophysicist A.V.I. Lowe and his colleagues began to suspect this wasn't just an interstellar rock. It was something else, something designed. What makes 3 Atlas even more unsettling is its timing. Its closest pass to the Sun, its perihelion, will occur when Earth is on the opposite side of our star. For several weeks in late October 2025, it will vanish completely from our sight, hidden in the Sun's glare. No telescopes, no radar, no tracking. In space terms, that's the perfect window for something under intelligent control to make a move. Imagine it. In those silent, unobservable days, its hidden propulsion could fire, altering its course with surgical precision, completely undetected. By the time it reappears, it could be on an entirely new trajectory, and we wouldn't know until it was far too late. This is the kind of maneuver that would be impossible for a natural object, but trivial for an advanced probe disguised as a comet. Lowe's team warns that this timing isn't a coincidence. It's an opportunity. And if this object is what they fear, that opportunity is intentional. If you wanted to send a probe across the galaxy without being noticed, what better disguise than a comet? A solid core wrapped in ice and dust, venting gas as it nears the sun, creating a blinding halo that hides everything inside. Telescopes can't see through it, and even radar is scattered by the uneven surface. Any heat signatures from onboard systems would be lost in the chaotic outgassing. It's nature's stealth technology free for anyone advanced enough to copy it. NASA has even studied ice shielding for deep space missions, not just for protection against radiation and micrometeorites, but also for long-term survival in interstellar space. For an alien civilization with millions or even billions of years more technological advancement than us, building a comet-cloaked probe would be child's play. And here's the chilling part. If 3 Atlas is one of them, it's been hiding in plain sight, just another traveler passing through, until now. If this object is artificial, what's its mission? Lowe offers two possibilities, friendly or hostile. Maybe it's an explorer, a robotic scout mapping our solar system, collecting samples, sending data back home. But history gives us a darker precedent. The Trojan horse was a gift. Until it wasn't. Throughout human history, when a more advanced culture encountered a less advanced one, the result was rarely good for the latter. And if this thing is armed, the stakes are unthinkable. 
A 12M wide object hitting Earth at its current speed would release energy millions of times greater than the most powerful nuclear bomb ever detonated. It would cause global firestorms, block out the sun for years, and potentially end human civilization. NASA is rumored to have a contingency plan to intercept three Atlas if necessary. But with its incredible speed, any intercept mission would need to launch early and aim far from Earth. The James Webb's first real image may have just given us the first clue, but the real test will come after it emerges from behind the sun. If its trajectory has changed, we won't just be looking at an alien object. We'll be looking at a decision someone, or something, has already made. While the first image of three Atlas sparked worldwide intrigue, it was the follow-up spectral data from the James Webb that truly shook scientists. By splitting the object's light into its component wavelengths, Webb revealed something it shouldn't have, traces of metals and compounds that simply don't match any known cometary body. Certain reflective patterns resembled engineered alloys, the kind you would expect on the surface of a spacecraft, not in the frozen shell of a wandering rock. Even more troubling was the detection of faint but consistent heat anomalies buried within its icy cloak, as though something inside was generating energy. The temperatures were too stable to be explained by sunlight alone, suggesting an internal power source. For Lowe and his colleagues, this wasn't just a hint. It was the closest thing to a fingerprint of artificial origin, hidden in the noise, waiting for those who dared to look deeper. Stephen Hawking's warning had long been theoretical, a cautionary tale to those eager to broadcast our presence into the cosmos. But the arrival of three Atlas makes that theory feel frighteningly tangible. In the dark forest model of the universe, civilizations remain silent, not out of fear, but out of necessity. Make a sound and you risk attracting the attention of something older, faster, and far more advanced than you. Earth has been anything but quiet. Our century of unrestrained radio transmissions, our TV signals, even the intentional interstellar messages we've sent have been like a flare in the night sky. If 3i Atlas is a probe, it might not be here randomly. It could be here because we called it. That changes the nature of the mystery entirely. It's no longer just about whether the object is alien, but whether its journey toward us began the moment we first revealed ourselves to the void. Within closed circles at NASA and the Department of Defense, whispers about a classified rapid response spacecraft program codenamed SHIELD-3 are growing louder. The plan, at least on paper, is to create a high-speed interceptor capable of matching three Atlas's trajectory far from Earth. The problem? No existing chemical rocket can reach the required velocity in time. Engineers are allegedly exploring hybrid propulsion, nuclear thermal systems, solar sails, even experimental ion drives to close the gap. But every week lost makes the mission less feasible, and the funding for such an emergency launch has yet to be officially authorized. Insiders say there's an unspoken deadline. If 3i Atlas emerges from behind the sun on a course that brings it closer to Earth, Shield the 3rd of May become more than a contingency plan. It could be humanity's only shot at preventing the unknown. As the date of its solar conjunction draws nearer, observatories worldwide are focusing every possible instrument on 3i Atlas before it slips into invisibility. The James Webb, positioned perfectly beyond Earth's atmosphere, continues to send back faint readings, minor fluctuations in light output, strange shifts in spectral composition, and a peculiar rhythm in its dust emissions almost as if pulsing in a pattern. Some dismiss this as natural variation, but others quietly see the possibility of encoded signals or system activity. Astronomers know that once the object disappears behind the sun, the next time we see it, everything could be different. Its speed, its course, even its purpose. This brief window before it vanishes may be the last chance to understand what we're really dealing with, or to prepare for what's coming. And the closer we get to that date, the more it feels like we're not observing the object anymore. It's observing us. Soon the sun will release three-eye atlas from its blinding grip and the world will be watching. If it reappears exactly where calculations predict, it may quietly fade into the black, just another mysterious traveler will never fully understand. But if its trajectory has changed, 
If it comes back on a new course, then we'll know. We'll know that someone, somewhere has been steering it. The James Webb has already shown us what it looks like. The real question is, what does it want? Are we looking at a lonely machine drifting between stars, curious about our world? Or is it the sharp end of a spear, the first step in a plan that began long before we even knew the stars had eyes? The truth is, we might not get a second chance to prepare. In the vast silence of space, the smallest change in direction can be the loudest message ever sent. So ask yourself, if this really is alien technology, are we ready for what happens next? If you want to follow every twist in this story, every image, every data point, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because when 3i Atlas emerges from the sun's shadow, we may be facing the most important moment in human history.